Hello, my dear students. Today, the class is about uh, direct gene transfer technique. Of that, uh, we are going to discuss only micro injection. So, uh, we are uh, aware about there are uh, different type of uh, gene transfer uh, mechanism is there. Direct method is there, and indirect method is also there. Biological method through agrobacterium. So, in uh, direct gene transfer we come across with their uh, different type of uh, techniques macro injection micro injection particle bombardment electroporation today we are going to uh, discuss something about uh, micro injection myself dr shibu from the department of biotechnology safi institute of advanced study let's move to the topic so uh, what does uh, mean by uh, micro injection? So um, uh, while we are discussing about uh, micro injection, so um, just mentioning the transformation of uh, transformation of uh, higher uh, plant cells by uh, intranuclear micro injection has been emerging as an attractive approach in recent years. In recent years, this uh, development of uh, uh, micro injection has been in an enormous way in doing uh, gene transfer uh, in plants genetic transformation of animals and insect using micro injection of uh, embryos have been well established technique and in the case of plant system protoplast is uh, one of the favorable choice for micro injection okay so this technique has advanced in diverse application in the key areas such as uh, cell biology genetics and other transformation field Recently, micro injection is widely employed in serial transformation. So, micro injection involves direct physical approach in depositing the DNA into the specific target uh, cell. So, such as name, it is saying micro injection, micro level, we are going to inject the uh, gene of interest into the host cells. That is what called as micro injection. Okay, for uh, transforming, it's a transformation process in, in an higher organism. Generally, Micro injection requires micro capillaries and microscopic devices to deliver DNA into cells in such a way that the injected cells survive the treatment and is able to proliferate in a culture condition. So it is having micro capillaries and other microscopic devices to uh, deliver the DNA into the target uh, system and the injection injected cells should have to survive after the treatment also and uh, it should have to proliferate in culture condition that should be taken into an account okay so during uh, this uh, micro injection uh, this plant protoplast are partially uh, synthesized uh, cell are fixed to glass cover slip with the help of uh, uh, poly l lysine okay so before starting the experiment what it is mentioned here is we need to um, attach the protoplast in a, in a, uh, in a slide uh, with the help of uh, lysine and further process requires holding the pipette and micro manipulator or micro injector i mean to hold it with the help of uh, pipette or uh, micro manipulator or uh, if any uh, cell type is latent uh, to attach to the cover slip by binding agent holding pipette can be essential factor in uh, micro injection so we are having a holding paper to hold the uh, cells this cell type are firmly retained on fixed place by blunt holding pipette the exogenous dna of one uh, uh, picometer that is uh, uh, picometer is taken in micro injector and the cells or protoplast either it may be a cell or it may be a protoplast are firmly immobilized by holding pipette by ex uh, exerting suction pressure while applying the a pressure we need to suck it hard and uh, it should be immobilized the cell should be immobilized when we are injecting our dna into the protoplast or cell so micro injection contain approximately dosage of dna is then directly delivered into the cell so of course the dna should be directly delivered into the cell the appropriate uh, uh, dosage should be added so here it is mentioned about 1 pm picometer so uh, in uh, micro injection it is possible to micro inject 200 to 350 protoplast intranuclearly and transform frequency has been demonstrated with 20 to 60 percent success so we can uh, it is possible to micro inject 200 to 350 protoplast intranuclearly and the success rate it is mentioned is 20 to 60 percentage we can get a 
success rate okay so uh, here it is uh, you can see the uh, diagrammatic representation of uh, how uh, this protoplast uh, um, how the dna should be entered or inserted with the help of micro injection here we are having a protoplast suspension a solution is there from that we are taking the um, protoplast and fix it in a, a slide so protoplast suspension and you can see the dna sample then uh, dna sample in micro injected by this is what you can see that okay by holding paper this is a holding paper suction by applying the high, uh, high by having a vacuum or a pressure what we can hold is we can hold this protoplast together we can co hold this uh, protoplast and with the help of micro injector or a small needle so like something like uh, some that, something like that of uh, syringe we can uh, and uh, add our dna into the protoplast okay so once the dna is entered into the protoplast we need to culture the protoplast okay this is the culturing of the protoplast to see that whether it is uh, having the desired uh, character or not this is a direct method of uh, gene transfer with the help of micro injection so certain advantages and disadvantages of this micro injection so advantages what is mentioned here is so the amount of dna delivered can be optimized and precise delivery of dna dna delivery is predictable even into the cell nucleus because we are uh, once we are uh, uh, seeing and we are we can do it small cell structure like a uh, microspores callus and pro embryos can be precisely targeted then uh, microculture is accomplished with the help of micro injection certain disadvantages mentioned here is uh, only one cell receives dna per injection only one cell receives dna per injection Handling of protoplast or micro injection required a skilled uh, labor or a skilled per person can able to uh, do this uh, micro injection work. Needed a sophisticated equipment, of course, needed it, and a requirement of pre generation process for micro injected cells. Okay, so these are all the disadvantages of this micro injection. Hope you all understand about this uh, micro injection. See you in the next class. Thank you.